Robert Spencer, uh, as we all know, Elon Musk has succeeded at least conceptually with the takeover of Twitter for $44 billion. And by the audacity of his statement, it's going to be free speech, the left is going berserk because free speech to them is fascist, apparently. And the people leading the fight to boycott Twitter that are calling on corporations to cancel all advertising on Twitter are at the forefront of the campaign to boycott Israel. And they're known anti-Semitic. And there's a lot of these groups that are saying that Musk is all about disinformation when in reality, Twitter was censoring everybody, including you on a regular basis. So do they want free speech or do they just want their version of free speech? Yeah, for the left, free speech means they get to talk and we don't. Uh, that's really what this is all about. Now this uh, apparent acquisition, which may indeed be stopped before it can fully go through. The Federal Trade Commission is looking at it and they're, they're going to try to find any way they can to stop it. But in any case, uh, this has unmasked the left as being indeed open and avowed enemies of the freedom of speech. And so that's very interesting and very important. The only problem is that we also have a generation of American youth have been miseducated into thinking that there's such a thing as hate speech. And they're not in favor of the freedom of speech in general themselves. So uh, we may end up indeed losing it. Uh, the means of communication are in the hands of these oligarchies right now. And uh, they're very afraid that Twitter might fall out of their hands. If it does, the whole game changes, but we'll see if it really happens.